Good day everyone. Today let's talk about biodiversity. Learning competency relates species extinction to the failure of populations of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. Objectives determine the pattern of population distribution. Explain the probable causes of extinction and the local and global environmental issues that contributed to species extinction. Create a timeline of extinction of representative microorganisms, plants, and animals. Biodiversity is the great variety of life or the different forms of life on Earth. Carolus Linnaeus first to classify organisms into two kingdoms as plants and animals in 1700. When Linnaeus developed his classification, there were only two kingdoms. Known as the father of classification or the father of taxonomy. Hans and Zacharias Janssen, a Dutch eyeglass makers, in the year 1519 invented the first compound microscopes. It's a tube with two lenses at each end. Robert Hooke, an English chemist, mathematician, physicist, and inventor, invented the compound microscope. In 1675, a man by the name of Anton Van or Anthony Van Wittenhoek studied the works of Robert Hooke and polished it. He turned the glass bowl into a convex lens that has a magnification of 270 times and attached it to a contraption that resembles today's simple microscopes. This simple single lens handheld microscope is what he used to study insects and other specimens, including blood cells and bacteria, which he discovered in 1674 by looking at a sample of lake water. For this, he is credited as the father of microscopy as well as a key player in the development of the cell theory. The invention and development of microscope led to the discovery of more organisms. The two kingdom systems were no longer useful. Carlos developed the six kingdoms. These six kingdoms comprise the diverse groups of life forms such as Eubacteria, Archaebacteria, Protista, Plantae, Animalia, and Fungi. This is now known as biodiversity, the one that comprised six kingdoms. Living things need one another in order to live. Herbivores need plants. Carnivores need either animals for food. Omnivores need other animals and plants for food. If animals need plants, plants also need animals for survival. Plants need the carbon dioxide released by animals. Also, living things need non-living things like soil, heat, gases, water for survival. All the things they need to live are found in the habitat, a place where they live. In the habitat of any species is called population. Hence, a population is a group of organisms of the same species that live in the same area. Like this, population of trees, population of rabbit. In the habitat of different groups of populations is a community. Hence, communities made up of populations of different species. Like this. So this is an example of community. In a community of interacting biodiversity and their physical environment is called ecosystem. Population distribution describes how the individuals are distributed or is spread throughout their habitat. Types of population distribution, uniform, random, and clump. Uniform, the individuals are spaced apart like this. Random, the individuals are spaced at unpredictable distances from each other like this. In club, the individuals are grouped like this. Example of distributions, random, uniform, and club.
let's analyze directions match column A to column B. Number one, under column A, individuals are equally spaced apart. Two, it is made up of populations of different species. Three, individuals are spaced at unpredictable distances from each other. Four, individuals are grouped. Five, a group of organisms of the same species that live in the same area. And here's the choices in column B. A population, B clubs, C communities, B random, B uniform. Let's talk about extinction this time. Extinction is a situation in which something no longer exists. What are the causes of extinction? Number one, habitat loss. Natural habitat becomes incapable of supporting its native species. As human population and consumption increase, wildlife habitats like a forest is cut down for building materials. Wildlife habitat is converted to houses and highways. As a result, wildlife animals are endangered for the loss of their habitat. Number two is introduced species. These are species living outside its native distributional range made by human. Here's, here are examples of introduced species. We have the sweet clover, Melilotus sp, introduced and naturalized into Americas from Europe as a forage and cover crop. Wheat, or triticum, introduced worldwide from its place of origin, Mesopotamia. Chickens, Gallus gallus domesticus, from Asia, introduced in the rest of the world. Cattle, Bos promigenius taurus, introduced but not naturalized worldwide. The introduced species may compete with native species for food, or nest sites where they may prey on native species, hence they endanger the native species. Number three is over exploitation. Humans also deplete wildlife populations by capturing or killing individuals for their use. Animals are killed for food, fur, feathers, oil, medicines, crops, and a host. Number four is pollution. Creatures that depend on either fresh water or salt water for all or part of their life cycles like fish, frogs, marine mammals, and many invertebrates are especially vulnerable to pollution. Water is polluted by runoff, of fertilizers and pesticides from farms, oil, and other chemicals from roads and human sewage that flows untreated into rivers, lakes, and Number five, other factors like meteorite and climate change. A meteorite is the first thing most people associate with the word extinction for the reason. Since we all know that a meteor's impact on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico caused the disappearance of the dinosaurs 65 billion years ago. Climate change, a long-term shift in global or regional climate patterns refers specifically to the rise in global temperatures from the mid-20th century to present. Even in the absence of major asteroid comet impacts, which can potentially lower worldwide temperatures by 20 degrees or 30 degrees Fahrenheit, climate change poses a constant danger to terrestrial animals. At the end of the last ice age about 11,000 years ago, Various megafauna mammals were unable to adapt to quickly warming temperatures, resulting in their extinction. Let's apply. Directions carefully read the situation and identify the causes of the extinction of the organisms. Write your answers on your answer sheets number one. I am an owl who lived in the forest. Builders made a new mall, so my hope was lost. I was a fish who lived in the ocean. There was a big oily spill, so I had no clean water. Number three, ceremonial cloaks worn by the Hawaiian kings were made from the mamu bird. A single cloak used the feather.
calendars of 10,000 words of these now extinct species. Number 4. The dinosaurs roamed the earth a long time ago. One day, nature hit earth and destroyed all the living animals. Number 5. During the Ice Age, all the animals that lived in warm areas had trouble surviving because they had no way to keep warm. Let's try evolution this time. Number 1. Which habitat describes flower arranged in an area without any pattern? A. Habitat 1, B. Habitat 2, C. Habitat 3, D. Bob, A, and C. Number 2. How do you describe habitat 2? A. The individuals are grouped. B. Individuals are equally spaced apart. C. Individuals are not equally distributed. D. Individuals are spaced at unpredictable distances from each other. Number 3. Which of the following best describes biodiversity? A. Endangered species. B. Different planets in our solar system. C. The variety of all life on Earth. D. Biographies about famous biologists. Number 5. One of the causes of extinction is pollution. How can people contribute to reduce pollution? A. Burn plastics. B. Plant more trees. C. Spill oil in the lake. D. Throw garbage everywhere. Let's create. Directions. Make a timeline of the following extinct organisms. Write your answers on your answer sheets. Smallpox virus, 1980. Dodo birds, 1662. Indian cheetah, 2019. Wood cycad, 1960. St. Helena olive, 1994. And here is an example of a timeline. You will be graded using a rubric. for watching don't forget to click like share and subscribe and for more information you may visit these references have a great day